Hello and welcome to our channel. We wanted to quickly show you a fast way to create a column in your table to store the number of working days between two dates. Assuming we have a table with one initial date and one final date, and that we want to have the difference in days excluding any weekends in between. We have created a quick analysis on the average of resolution days, that is the difference in days between resolution date and the created date. As you can see, the number is really high and we're not in compliance with our KPI. However, this calculation does include all the weekends in between. So let's calculate the correct measure. So let's begin. First, select the table that contains both dates. Right click and select Edit Query. In the Query Editor, under the Home tab, go to the New Query section and select New Source. Select Blank Query and then click on Advanced Editor located in the Query section. Now paste the following code and click Done. We're leaving a link into the code in the description of the video, but with this we have created a custom function. This can calculate business days between two dates. We will do a deep dive in another video on how to create this code, but basically what it does is to create a list of days from the two dates, adds a number of the corresponding weekday, and then removes everything that's higher than five, meaning the weekend. Then it counts the remaining items and returns that number. Now the final step is to add a column with this function on it. Let's go to add column, then click on invoke custom function. In the menu that appear, type a name for your column. Let's type div date, and then select the function query, in this case query1. This will open up the parameters options. First click on the little calendar drop down to the left of the initial date and select column name instead of date. Now from the drop down select the name of the column that contains this value. Repeat the same for the final day. Then click on OK and that's everything. Now you have a column with the difference between the two dates excluding the weekends. Let's try it out in our dashboard and see how it looks with the correct numbers. Ok, so first let's drag the new measure into the chart. Let's do average. Now immediately we can see the differences between the first measure that we had and the new one. And we have a more accurate on the response time that we have in, in our data. And if we go to the KPIs, we can replace the original measure with the new one. And we can now see that we are in compliance. And again, having the correct numbers make our analysis much better and much accurate. So this has been everything for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Irvin and this is Power GI.